Good morning, Corey Frazier here with Castle Auto Sales and MVM. Uh, today I'm going to be doing a walk around of this 2013 Ram 3500 Longhorn Turbo Cummins <laughs> Mega Cab. Uh, um, this one does have the ASN transmission. Everybody asks about it. Uh, so uh, this one is still going through the process. We literally just got this one in. It still needs detailed, go through the shop, the whole nine. But uh, since uh, we're getting so many uh, inquiries about it, I just want to get the video out there. I can do it before and after. But just like in all my videos, what I'm going to do is we're going to do the outside. We'll do the inside condition and features. I'll turn it over, let you see the dash, all the lights, uh, let you hear it run. Uh, but first, we're just going to get outside condition, uh, whatever features it may have. And then we'll get to the inside here in just a moment. But as you're seeing, I'm getting both angles for you as well, so you can see condition for yourself. Huge reason why I do these video walkarounds. Uh, we do a lot of out of town, out of state. Uh, really helps the consumer. Um, plus, you know, even for the guys in town, you have a great idea of what you're coming in to see, what you're going to drive, uh, those kind of things. But absolutely gorgeous truck. Um, you know, it's the competitor to the King Ranch for Ford, but frankly, I think this is a, uh, even for this year model, this is a much nicer, uh, gonna have more longevity, uh, frankly. Um, but as you can see, it's the two-tone, uh, tinted windows, rain guards, running boards, uh, flip-up tow mirrors. Tires on this are dang near new, if not new. A uh, ton of tread left on them. Uh, backup camera, backup sensor, tow pack, and like I said, guys, this is still about, uh, I would say, close to a week out uh, from being what you consider line ready. It still needs to be cut and buffed. This is going to look like a completely different truck after uh, the process. I mean, it already looks really good now, but it's still going to look amazing after. But yeah, that mega cab there, that's a, a 6.7 liter you know, high output with the ASN. Woo! Um, fog lights. Uh, but let's get to the inside condition and features. You know what? This one actually has remote start. Let's see if I can get it to go here. Let's try it one more time. This one hasn't been warmed up, so. Oh, there we go. Waiting for the glow plug, I'm sure. But, uh, as you can see, convenience package. There it goes. He's waiting for the glow plug. Let's open this guy up. Remember. Still needs to be detailed. A lot of stuff needs to be done on this one yet still. Uh, power windows, power locks, power memory seats. We'll get the condition of the leather. A little bit of wear on the driver's side, very common. Longhorn, sunroof, center console. Yeah, there's some work that needs to be done on this guy yet. But, like I said, I'll do the, uh, the, after, the after the detail video as well. Think about these uh, mega cabs, these back doors just open up so wide. It's uh, similar to the saddle leather in the Ford. Rear heated seats. This thing is a beast. Well, let's get to the inside condition and features. Uh, power pedal adjusters, steering wheel controls, Bluetooth capable, wood grain. The mileage there. Here, let me climb in here. The Alpine premium sound. Push start. But other than that, you know, no check engine lights, nothing like that. So that's actually really nice. Um, heated cooled seats I mean there's gonna be a ton of options here guys I'm just trying to get it in there I can't I'm not gonna uh, touch on all of them but uh, but you'll be able to see most of them 
uh, heated cooled seats, uh, Jake brake, uh, heated steering wheel. Uh, frankly, this is this is a gorgeous truck. Oh, and then you have the obviously if you need to manually uh, gear down, towing. Let's turn on some lights. This thing is just again beastly. Well, guys, hopefully this helped answer some questions. I'm sure it probably didn't answer all of them. Um, but, if, you know, if you're interested in it um, and it's something you think you're going to want, you know, once we do put it through the process, uh, reach out, give me a call, give me a text. Even if you need me to take extra photos, shoot another video, walk around. Frankly, whatever I can do to help, I'm happy to do it. Um, I do want to say thank you for your time and consideration, and hopefully I can earn your business. We'll see you next time, guys.